Hey, this is Xander. And Haley. And Mr. S. Today we have our principal, Ms. McCann, on. We're going to be covering topics like the new school, and we'll also be talking about some upcoming events like the choir concert, debate competition, some school activities, and yeah. So let's get started. Welcome back to the Union Weekly Podcast. So hi, Miss McCann. Hello. You've been at Union for two years now? About a year and a half, yep. Nice. Can- and you helped us move into the new building. <laughs> yes, I did. Can you give us some background info and introduce a little bit about yourself? Oh, so this is my 30th year in education. I taught 10 years in a middle school in, uh, called Joe P. Jensen out in West Jordan. And then I came to Hillcrest High School to coach volleyball in 2001. And I taught health and coach volleyball there for 10 years. Wow. And so then I went in, and now and then I went into administration, and I've worked at Hillcrest and Brighton, and now Union. Nice. <laughs> so, how has this trend transition to this brand new building been? You know, it's been really good. I think for the kids, I mm-hmm. think it was challenging at first because it wasn't ready, mm-hmm. and so I think we had to make that decision. Two weeks before school was going to start, they kept telling me, oh, we're going to be in, we're going to be in. (laughs) And then I walked in the building and there was no elevators. There was just these little holes in the ground. And it's like, "Uh, no, we're not going to be in. So we made that decision to not um, come to school. And so I think that was the hard part. And then I think being in a building that's not completely done, no auditorium, has been hard for kids. We haven't been able to do anything fun this year like, you know, any of our traditional. All for all. mm Mm-hmm. Yeah, some of the fun stuff. Mm-hmm. So hopefully it'll, stuff will get done and we can do some. I'd like to do a, like a field day. Mm-hmm. Maybe at the end of the year we have all this grass now and it should be Lots. usable <laughs> by then. So I hope we can do that. So I think that's an impact. And I think that's what's been hard for us as teachers and administration. I think it's just being able to get in and be prepared to start school. Yeah. What was the hardest thing about moving into the new building? probably moving out of the old building (laughs) the old building man because you had to get everything my biggest fear was is that we wouldn't get everything out they'd tear it down we'd get in the new building and everybody be saying so where's my because every teacher had crates yeah Mm -hmm. and they had anywhere from four to ten crates and so if we lost those crates teachers weren't going to be very happy there were so many in the auditorium i remember packing all those they were not fun (laughs) well we're losing like i had this year right as the concert or the Play was going to start the musical. They came to me and says, all of our props are gone. And I said, all your props are gone? Where did you pack them? Well, we left them on the stage in the old building. And so we switched custodians going from the old to the new building. And Mm -hmm. so that made it a little hard. Mm -hmm. And then luckily they went out in the container out on the, by the grass and they (laughs) found their props. So we lucked out because I thought we had lost everything and we were going to have to buy new. Yeah. I think they still lost a lot of costumes and stuff. If they did, it will have to buy new. You have <laughs> well, to some buy stuff what was we need, which was sad. So yeah, and that's my biggest fear was to move out of the old building, and you're trusting other people to move you and take that stuff. And mm-hmm. if it doesn't get moved and the building goes down, I can't go back and find yeah. it. <laughs> so how how would you describe our evolving culture of our school and the role and our culture here at Union? You know, I think we have an awesome culture. Mm -hmm. I think it needs to grow in the sense of the school itself being new. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'd like to see more where we get our PBIS stuff going, our more positive things going for kids. Mm -hmm. I think the Bobcat market's awesome. But I think being in a new building, it's made it hard to get some things traditionally continue on and going. But I think we have the chance now to make new, you know, some new traditions, Mm -hmm. some new culture. And I think... Doing stuff like this podcast, things like this, that helps that. Yeah. With the new environment, how has student engagement and well-being been affected? I think you guys could answer that better than me, but I think it's been affected (laughs) quite a bit. I mean, I think in the sense, it's a huge school. Mm -hmm. I think think the new little sixth graders, I think all of you came back with anxiety. I think a lot of kids came back scared that, you know, where am I going to go? How am I going to get from class to class in five minutes? <laughs> Until you got in and saw that we have pods, and that helps, yeah. you know, that yeah. kind of thing. And, and then I think your little sixth graders, where they didn't get to come in and do a tour, mm-hmm. the traditional fifth, you know, tour, like last year for fifth graders, come incoming sixth graders didn't get to go on a tour of the new building. Yeah. 
because we didn't have one, then I don't think they had any idea. So I think they really had some anxiety. I mean, we were all on the same level, though, because none of us knew where to go. It's true. So, so everybody came <laughs> in on the same. Yeah. But I do think it's part been harder. I think now the kids will tell you they like it. Mm-hmm. Overall, I think it's nice to have everything new. Everything works. The bathrooms yeah. aren't 60 years old. The, There's not drawings everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that part, it's it's awesome. Yeah. So um, with this being halfway through this year, do you have any goals for the rest of the year? Yeah, I think my goal, you know, I, I'd like to end on a good note, some fun. Like I said, I think kids have been shortchanged a little bit in the sense of all for all we didn't get to do. Mm-hmm. Um, I haven't had a space where we could put all of us in. Even the new auditorium probably won't hold all of us at one time, but we could do two two assemblies or something. Yeah. And we haven't been able to do anything like that. We haven't been able to really get the whole school together, and I think that's hard. Mm-hmm. So I think we got to end with something big for the end of the school yeah. where we can finish up with a little bit of fun. And this last year, well, in this yeah. first year, good. Yeah. <laughs> So what are the main challenges the school faces besides, like, having no auditorium to do, like, any big events for the whole school? I think it's just building the camaraderie, the, the maybe the kids together. I think sometimes the pods pull you apart a little bit. Mm. I think because you got eighth grade in one, you got seventh and one and sixth, mm-hmm. you know, maybe we don't interact as much with each other as a, a whole school mm-hmm. that I think we could work on maybe on, and that I think some assemblies would help that mm-hmm. or some activities so that you interact as an eighth grader with maybe some sixth graders because we don't get to do it. And I think our teachers, I think it's a little harder for them because I think they stick maybe more in their pot area now with those teachers instead of getting out and and knowing other teachers. So for me, some of the things I'd like to do is I'm going to get, like, for teachers, we'll we'll get a Coke machine or something that we can do free Coke. You know, for the kids... (laughs) For the kids, I'd like to do something that, you know, we can maybe hand out something. Get I'd really like to get, to be honest, and I've said this before, I just need to follow through a little better, is that I'd like to get my junior honor, the Honor Society and the, the ambassadors to maybe start doing Fridays where they come mm. and meet on Fridays and meet kids and welcome them to school yeah. and then have something to give kids there. We just need to follow through and do it. We've we'll talked talk about to it. We'll talk to Ms. Morley about that. Will you please do, because I'd love to do it. Even if we split you guys in half... So you didn't have to do it every Friday, but I think it'd be fun to get here at seven fifteen and meet all the kids that come mm-hmm. in and be at the three different doors where kids walk in or four different doors mm-hmm. and do something. Don't yeah. forget the bus kids. Yeah. With this year, I um, I haven't met as many other kids in other grades because in mm-hmm. the old school, from going from a hundred hall to seven hundred, I met all these kids because I had to go through sixth grade, seventh right. grade. So it's a completely different like. I think that's been right. harder. Yeah. I do think that's a different thing that the little sixth graders don't see because they stay among themselves. Mm-hmm. And so I think we're going to have to work on that and how we get more involved as grades. Yeah. I barely see the other, like, upstairs eighth grade teams. So, like, I don't see half of my friends either. They all come down here in the morning. Well, you do, do you like that? Let's talk about that. The, 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 the collaboration space, do you think it's being used well? or I or? like it. I mean, I don't see as much people. Like, I see more people out in the hallways, which makes it even more cramped instead of, like, in the pod area. So more stay in the halls and come in the pods. Yeah. What do you think, Mr. S? Bring people into the pods. Just don't go crazy. <laughs> like, I, I love them. Like, I love the whole pod system. I think it's perfect. Makes you uh, be around core classes and stuff like that. I, I, I'm in love with I've never been in a pod system like this before. I've heard about it, and I'm in love with it. Um, but this is, and we've had these conversations before, Xander. Like, you want to make something happen, you have to go do it. You want to meet more people, go out more yeah. and see more people, which is, I know in my class, what I'm trying to teach and what other teachers are trying to teach it. Like, get out of your comfort zone a little and, mm-hmm. and, and go. And so I think... Right now, yeah, doing stuff is, is very helpful, but it also has to come down to you. Mm-hmm. And I'd love to see the ambassadors and Junior Honor Society come up with ideas. Yep. Yeah. I, it's hard for me sometimes because I get involved in so many things, and sometimes mm-hmm. I can't do all that I want to do. But I would love to be able to say yes to some things, you know. Maybe we give hot chocolate in the cafeteria. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, that sounds you, nice. You know what I mean? Set up hot chocolate and the kids can come that come in the morning, come to down there and have hot chocolate. That's a really I good idea. I think there's lots of things we it's could so do, cool. but I need you guys to help me do it. Mm-hmm. I can't yeah. I can't accomplish it on my own. He's only got so much time. And teachers and there's just teachers got a lot on their plate. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I think if we could get you guys more involved, I think that would help that. 
Yeah. Do you have any interesting stories from oh. your years of education? Oh, all kinds of stories. Um, make sure I can tell them. <laughs> <laughs> I the asked hard. before. <laughs> you did tell me that before. If I story, and it's like, oh, my heck, I got all, I mean, I got stories. So I taught health. So in the process, I got to teach lots of different things that uh. always are a little touchy. And so there was always stories that went with that, you know, that you're teaching something that... Uh, the, not everybody else gets to teach when it comes to reproduction and all those kinds of things. So there was always something that happened there. My class you know, was so awkward last year. It, it is, was silent. Was it silent? Yeah. And mm. it's hard. And a lot of times it depends on your teacher and how the teacher presents stuff. I think stuff there was always interesting. I think coaching was always interested. I got left one time at a school. All the kids got on the bus. All the team got on the bus. Next I've thing I know, happen. I'm you had that. Yeah. yeah all of a sudden, I'm happen. sitting there going, "Where did my bus go?" You know, I'm at Hunter High School and I'm stranded <laughs> by myself. And it's like back then they didn't have Uber, so I couldn't call anybody and say, "Come oh. get me." I had to figure out a way for someone to come find Stuck me. Stuck out in West Valley. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you wow. know, or the time that you're you're on a bus with 60 kids because I working in high school, we went on lots of trips. I think probably the funny one when I was working at Brighton, I had 80 kids going with me and their teachers, but we were going going to Seattle to a choir concert mm -hmm. and as I was going I decided to wear a sweater that day and it had like a fleck in it like a shiny fleck you know a tinsel kind of thing mm -hmm. didn't realize it and as I went through the security it just lit me up <laughs> like I was a bomb you know just <laughs> and so they pulled me over and took me in the back room so I got all these kids with me that are watching this go down. They're testing my hands for bomb residue, and, they're, and then that, that hit positive. I guess it was due to my lotion that I had in my hands. <laughs> oh so my next God. thing I know, I'm in the back room with a lady who's frisking me to make sure I'm not a you know, distributor of a bomb. And I have all my kids from Brighton waiting for me outside going, okay, this isn't good. You know, what's going to happen? So that was pretty, pretty wow. funny. That's a crazy story. Yeah. <laughs> Lotion's turning everybody over. <laughs> that's, that's like, I said to him, well, why would it be on my hands? I have made a bomb. And I you know, and the lady said, well, sometimes lotion hits. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, that's it. Wow. Oh. Needless to say, I don't wear that sweater to the airport anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hope. <laughs> um, yeah, it'd be funny if you put it in a bag. Yeah, you really. Try to it, it through. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then I'd be searched. My suitcase would be opened and for everybody. Yeah, yeah. no. Um, do you have any final thoughts or something you want to share with us? Yeah, I think, you know, I want to thank the kids. I want to thank the teachers. I think it's been an awesome year with a lot of challenges. Mm. I think everybody's come with the right attitude. You know, when we came in late, I think that could have caused a real damper. And I think the teachers have not always had a classroom that worked perfect. The projectors were slow mm. in coming. Or they were there, but none of the buttons on the wall work, <laughs> you know, which I don't know if they work yet. Most of them right. they do. Working? Just get sometimes right. at the emergency ones. Oh, mm. that one works. My, the emergency one for sure works. My room has been working since day one, so. So he lucked out because uh. that's not how, you know. We're getting up to speed now, <clears throat> and I think doing pretty good with that. But I think that's, we need to thank the kids and thank mm -hmm. the teachers because I think they, they're the ones that make the school the school. And I think, you know, a lot of times we look at administration and that, but we're here just, making sure you guys all help us do what we need to do. But, but mo it's the kids and the, you know, everybody's awesome. This is a great school, great community, yeah. Yeah. very supportive. All right. Well, let's move on to our upcoming events and announcements. Well, do you want to hear from our sponsor first? I would. Okay, here you go. <laughs> this episode of the Union Weekly Podcast is brought to you by the Bobcat Market. Spend your PBIS points here. Get all the cool new stuff. Get food. Get uh, school supplies, go check it out. Make sure you bring your, your card and you can earn some cool rewards by using your PBIS points. Again, this episode to you is brought to you by the Bobcat Market. All right, Mr. S, would you like to start us? Yep, just a reminder, uh, tutoring sessions are every Monday and Thursday. So actually today when we produce this, it's the end of the quarter, so make sure you get in. Um, catch up on assignments and retake your tests at tutoring. Because tomorrow's your last day for stuff being due. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Which for eighth graders, that means NHD projects. Oh, boy. Yep. Um, parents, make sure you check Skyward for student progress. Contact the attendance office for login assistance. And then our afternoon clubs meet every week. Chess club meets on Wednesdays. I think they're getting ready for a big competition coming up. Yeah. yeah. Um, debate. Is today on Thursdays we have our first competition next week yeah. at Jordan High. 
So that'll be good. Um, Lego Club is Monday from 3 to 4 and Thursday from 3 to Mm 5. And they're now gearing up for a competition. Yeah, everyone is. Yep. So. Wow. Make sure to join something. And if there's something you like that isn't offered, talk to a teacher. Maybe they can get one going. Yeah. Safety reminders. Caution around major intersections. The Sandy Police Department is monitoring traffic. Attendance competition. All pods are competing for the best attendance and the team with the fewest absences by February 2nd wins a reward of five extra minutes for lunch. And that's a win. Cutthroat Trout's winning. Uh, well, that's usually, that. we hopefully will give it to you when there's the kind of food you want for five minutes. At least that's what <laughs> yeah. I was told. It's Orange Chicken Day or something we like. Orange Chicken is always busy. And mm. for lunch, have your ID and ID number and card ready so then you don't keep up the line because they're already slow as is from people <laughs> cutting in front of you and no gum still. <laughs> Mr. S loves the gum. Oh, yeah. You know how I feel about the gum. <laughs> I'm saving my carpet, people. Oh, I, no, I, I, they, hear, they hear me go on about how no gum every single day. It's like gum referral. Yep, automatic. <laughs> so, yeah, we know that pretty well. Um, so, upcoming dates. Tomorrow is the last day to turn in work. Um, the quarter, I think teachers have a week to finalize everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, on the 11th, we have a quiet concert and then a debate meet on the 13th. There's a Lego competition at Hillcrest, um, on the, on the 12th and 15th, there is no school on the 17th. It is a national history day night and our parents allowed to come to that. Oh yes, of course. I want your parents to see your awesome project. It's in the cafeteria, right? Yes. Okay. Where else would it be? We don't have an auditorium. <laughs> yeah. we'll, go, we'll go do it in the dirt. We do it in no. the gym. <laughs> We're going to do it in the, in the cafeteria and in the halls. Nice. All right. And then we have the chess competition on the 20th. So. Okay. You ready for your question of, of the week oh, for yeah. PBIS points? Yes. Okay. Just a reminder for those who might be new listening. If you know the answer to this question, come see me in room 1304 downstairs green pod cutthroat trout pod and if you get the question right i give you a whole bunch of pbis points do you two remember the question from before break oh man it was like some thing we were supposed to pronounce it, on no the, that oh, it was not that, not that one no it wasn't that one it was the uh so the question was um georgetown yeah uh-huh. I don't the college that. so georgetown their oh, school the colors are blue and gray oh yay why uh, I, yeah, I don't do you remember? remember? It's because of the um the two different like co- colors. colors. Kind of. So remember, so Georgetown University during the Civil War had students fight on both sides. That's what. And it so was. to show respect, they made their school colors navy and gray. Mm-hmm. And so there's that. So that was the answer to the last one. In case some of you came and told me the wrong answer. That's a hard question. Yeah. <laughs> so here's your question of this week. Okay, I've. I'm a big Percy Jackson fan, Mm -hmm. and I've been rereading the books since the new TV show is out. So I've been studying a lot of ancient cultures lately. So here um, is my question of the week. You just have to come, if you come and talk to me, name me one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. I know a few people that are going to come. Okay. The seven wonders of the ancient world, they just need to name one. There's only, I think, one. Yep, there's only one that's still around. Okay. So there's your question of the week. Cool. Well, thank you, Miss McCann, for You're coming You're sure on. welcome. And we appreciate everyone listening. Um, please share with your friends, as we would love more people to listen. So, yeah, yeah. we'll s- see you guys next week.